Details about the upcoming Georgie and Mandy wedding on Young Sheldon show why the Big Bang Theory prequel ending with Season 7 is ridiculous. Young Sheldon's Season 7 wedding for Georgie and Mandy adds new drama and leaves out Sheldon. The show creator's decision to adhere to the Big Bang Theory continuity causes cancellation despite being very popular. The possibility of a Sheldon-less future for young Sheldon is highlighted via Georgie and Mandy's wedding. New details about Georgie and Mandy's wedding make accepting young Sheldon ending so much more difficult. Ahead of the Young Sheldon Season 6 finale back in May 2023, rumbles about the Big Bang Theory prequel wrapping up its run started. While the show was confirmed to return for a seventh year, the final of the multi-year renewal that it scored from CBS, this kept avid viewers of the family comedy slash drama alert and invested in what the future holds for the show. It didn't help that the historic dual strikes of WGA and SAG AFTRA delayed its comeback to 2024. Like most scripted series, the pushback forced young Sheldon to only have 14 episodes for season 7, significantly fewer than its usual 22 output. Regardless, it was still better than waiting for the 2024-2025 to TV season for new episodes, especially since the young Sheldon season 6 finale ended on a bit of a cliffhanger. This, however, came with a trade-off when it was announced that the Big Bang Theory prequel would end, despite its shortened year. CBS will continue its story with Georgie and Mandy's spinoff sequel, but details about their Young Sheldon Season 7 wedding somehow make things worse. Young Sheldon's cancellation isn't like the usual ones. While the show has been a hit from the get-go, thanks to its ties to the Big Bang Theory, it has only gotten bigger in the last couple of years. It is heavily criticized for its lax approach to continuity, which the creatives behind the show have defended themselves from countless times in the past. Ironically, however, breaking away from its mega-hit parent show has paved the way for some of its best storytelling. Some great examples are Paige's Fall from Grace, Dr. Sturge's Health Issues, and Georgie and Mandy's Romance. At this point, young Sheldon could have gotten away with creating more plot holes if it meant being able to continue. Sadly, the same creators who defended the prequel for Breaking Canon also decided to stick to it when it comes to the timeline of events. The Big Bang Theory established that after ending his stint in college, Sheldon eventually moved out of Texas to California to begin his postgraduate studies at Caltech. There are several ways to bypass this, allowing young Sheldon to continue. The creative's decision to stick to continuity, however, forced its cancellation. As one of the best original plots in the prequel, CBS is paying off Georgie and Mandy's romance with a wedding in Young Sheldon Season 7. Instead of tying the knot in their own upcoming series, the prequel decides to get it done ahead of it. Initial details have been revealed about the event, which is set for Young Sheldon Season 7, Episode 7, A Proper Wedding and Skeletons in the Closet, including the first images from the special occasion. While the couple appears to tie the knot in a shotgun ceremony, they are surrounded by their loved ones. Noticeably, however, Sheldon is missing from Georgie and Mandy's wedding. It's uncertain where the boy genius is during the event, but it isn't difficult to imagine why he isn't in attendance. As previously mentioned, tying the knot in a courthouse seems like a spur-of-the-moment decision for the pair, which means that they likely gathered everyone and rushed them to witness their union. The ending of a beloved television series can be a bittersweet experience for fans. The Big Bang Theory, TBBT, a cultural phenomenon that entertained audiences for 12 seasons, bid farewell in 2019. However, the spin-off prequel, Young Sheldon, continued to provide insights into the origins of its quirky characters. Yet, recent developments in Young Sheldon, particularly Mandy and Georgie's wedding, have left fans grappling with mixed emotions. This creative exploration delves into how this narrative twist complicates the satisfying conclusion of Young Sheldon and reverberates into the legacy of TBBT. Act 1. Setting the Stage In the quaint town of Medford, Texas, Young Sheldon unfolds the early life of Sheldon Cooper, a genius with an eccentric personality. The series provides a window into Sheldon's formative years, his family dynamics, and the challenges he faces growing up as a prodigy in a small-town setting. 
Central to the narrative are his siblings, Georgie and Missy, who play pivotal roles in shaping his character. Act 2, The Unlikely Romance Mandy, Georgie's high school sweetheart, enters the picture, adding layers of complexity to the Cooper family dynamics. Initially introduced as a fleeting love interest, Mandy's character evolves, capturing Georgie's heart with her down-to-earth charm and unwavering support. Their relationship blossoms against the backdrop of Sheldon's academic pursuits and family struggles, culminating in a surprising proposal. Act 3, The Wedding That Divides As Mandy and Georgie exchange vows, fans are left to grapple with conflicting emotions. On one hand, witnessing Georgie's happiness is heartwarming, symbolizing growth and maturity. On the other hand, the wedding introduces a narrative departure that challenges the established trajectory of young Sheldon. The series, known for its nostalgic charm and lighthearted humor, now confronts the realities of adult life, forcing viewers to confront the passage of time and inevitable change. Act 4, Reflections on Legacy the ripple effects of Mandy and Georgie's union extend beyond the confines of young Sheldon, reverberating into the legacy of TBBT. Fans who invested years in following the journey of Sheldon, Leonard, Penny, and their friends find themselves grappling with the implications of this narrative shift. The conclusion of TBBT offered a sense of closure, allowing viewers to bid farewell to beloved characters with a sense of satisfaction. However, the unexpected developments in young Sheldon reopen old wounds, stirring nostalgia tinged with a hint of regret. Act 5, Finding Resolution Amidst the turmoil of conflicting emotions, fans seek solace in the enduring themes that define both young Sheldon and TBBT. Love, friendship, and the resilience of the human spirit emerge as guiding beacons, offering reassurance amidst uncertainty. While the wedding may complicate the narrative landscape, it also provides an opportunity for growth and exploration. As young Sheldon navigates the complexities of adulthood, viewers are reminded that life is a journey filled with unexpected twists and turns. Conclusion Mandy and Georgie's wedding in young Sheldon serves as a poignant reminder of the passage of time and the inevitability of change. While it may complicate the series' narrative trajectory and evoke mixed emotions among fans, it also offers an opportunity for growth and reflection. As the legacy of the Big Bang Theory continues to resonate with audiences, the wedding serves as a testament to the enduring power of love, friendship, and the bonds that unite us all. The Big Bang Theory didn't reveal one of Sheldon's darkest secrets for a long time, but the sitcom hinted at this tragic revelation years earlier. While the Big Bag Theory eventually revealed that Sheldon had a secret problem he tried to hide, this sad twist was foreshadowed more than two years earlier. Like most sitcom stars, the Big Bang Theory's main characters changed and grew as the show progressed. Howard, for instance, was a sleazy creep in the show's early seasons, but he went on to become a surprisingly sweet, supportive partner. Similarly, Penny's initially thin characterization was fleshed out as viewers got an idea of her personality outside of Leonard's instant infatuation with her. Of course, Sheldon was arguably the most notable instance of this gradual character growth. By the Big Bang Theory series finale, Sheldon was humbly thanking his friends and family for all of their support over the years as he accepted his Nobel Prize. This would have been inconceivable back when the series first began, but Sheldon grew more sensitive, caring, and tactful as the show continued. His friendship with Penny and his relationship with Amy both helped him in this regard, but the Big Bang Theory also humanized its protagonist by revealing more details from his past. For example, the show hinted at one of Sheldon's secret change years before it was fully revealed. The revelation that Sheldon was secretly a hoarder came in Season 9, Episode 19, The Solder Excursion Diversion. That outing revealed Sheldon's fortress of shame where he keeps everything he has ever owned, proving that Sheldon was a hoarder since before the Big Bang Theory began. However, this twist didn't come out of nowhere. Another member of the Big Bang Theory's cast of characters teased the reveal years earlier when Sheldon visited his mother Mary unexpectedly. In Season 7, Episode 18, The Mommy Observation, Mary revealed that Sheldon's bedroom had remained the same, untouched, since his childhood. 
Viewers could have surmised that Sheldon had a hard time letting go of the past from this character detail alone, but the subtle hint wasn't confirmed until over two seasons later. This quirk may have been written off as part of Mary's sentimental streak, but even this would still be evidence that Sheldon could be a hoarder. Mary clearly shared his obsessions with holding onto old belongings, judging by his old room, so it was no surprise when it turned out that Sheldon rented a storage unit so he could always hang on to even his most trivial possessions. While all of the Big Bang Theory's characters had flaws, Sheldon was dealt a particularly unfortunate hand when it came to his hoarding. However, he wasn't the first person in his family to exhibit this kind of behavior. His mother repeatedly proved that she had an unhealthy relationship with their shared past, alternating between complaining bitterly about Sheldon's childhood and lauding his achievements. In this context, it's not hard to see how Sheldon wound up developing the habit, all in an effort to keep his personal history in order. The Big Bang Theory first premiered on CBS in 2007 and became one of its era's most popular and longest-lasting network sitcoms. Running for 12 seasons, The Big Bang Theory focuses on a group of self-proclaimed nerds, Leonard, Johnny Galecki, Sheldon, Jim Parsons, Howard, Simon Helberg, and Raj, Kunal Nair, who form an unlikely friendship with their new neighbor Penny, Kaylee Cuoco. The series became a ratings giant and took home multiple Emmys. The Big Bang Theory was so successful that it ended up spawning a spin-off titled Young Sheldon, which has also become one of CBS' most popular sitcoms. In the annals of television history, few characters have captivated audiences and left an indelible mark quite like Sheldon Cooper from The Big Bang Theory. As Sheldon wrestles with his decision, he confides in Leonard, revealing a glimpse of his deepest fear. He expresses concern that if he were to die unexpectedly, no one would know how to access his personal computer to delete his internet search history. At first glance, this may seem like a typical Sheldon moment, characterized by his idiosyncratic behavior and fixation on order. However, upon closer examination, this seemingly innocuous comment takes on a much deeper significance. Sheldon's fear of his internet search history falling into the wrong hands speaks volumes about his innate vulnerability and fear of judgment. It suggests a profound loneliness and a lack of trust in those around him to understand and accept him for who he truly is. While played for laughs in the context of the episode, this moment foreshadows a darker truth about Sheldon's character, one that becomes increasingly evident as the series progresses. As the Big Bang Theory unfolds over subsequent seasons, Sheldon's struggles with intimacy and emotional connection come to the forefront. Despite his brilliance and accomplishments, he grapples with feelings of isolation and inadequacy, unable to fully connect with those around him. His relationships with his friends and romantic partners are often fraught with misunderstandings and complications as he struggles to navigate the complexities of human interaction. In Season 5, Episode 24, titled The Countdown Reflection, viewers are given a glimpse into Sheldon's deepest fears and insecurities as he grapples with the prospect of losing his closest friends. As the gang prepares to watch the launch of Howard's space mission, Sheldon is forced to confront the possibility of life without his friends by his side. In a rare moment of vulnerability, he tearfully admits, I don't want to go to space. I just want my friends back. This heartbreaking confession lays bare Sheldon's greatest fear, the fear of being alone. Despite his outward bravado and self-assuredness, he longs for the comfort and companionship of those who have become his makeshift family. It's a moment that resonates deeply with viewers, offering a poignant reminder of Sheldon's humanity beneath the veneer of his intellect. As the series draws to a close in its twelfth and final season, Sheldon's journey towards self-discovery and acceptance reaches its zenith. In the series finale, titled The Stockholm Syndrome, Sheldon delivers a heartfelt speech expressing gratitude for the impact his friends have had on his life. He acknowledges that while he may not always show it, their presence has been a source of strength and support throughout his tumultuous journey. In a touching moment of growth and vulnerability, Sheldon admits, I should note that I'm contractually obligated to say I love my wife, so let's just assume I said it. It's a subtle yet significant acknowledgement of the profound love and connection he shares with his wife, Amy, and the growth he has experienced in his ability to express his emotions. 
In the end, The Big Bang Theory serves as more than just a sitcom about a group of socially awkward scientists. It's a testament to the power of friendship, love, and acceptance in overcoming life's greatest challenges. And while Sheldon Cooper may have started out as a socially inept genius with a penchant for routine, he ultimately evolves into a fully realized character whose journey towards self-acceptance inspires audiences around the world. So, the next time you revisit The Big Bang Theory, pay close attention to the subtle hints and foreshadowing scattered throughout the series. You may just uncover a deeper understanding of Sheldon Cooper and the heartbreaking detail that was hinted at earlier than you thought. As such, viewers knew before the spinoff even began that young Sheldon's protagonist would be an insensitive young genius stranded in an ill-fitting location. However, by young Sheldon's season 6 finale, this original premise had been largely abandoned. Not only did Sheldon's family members grow on viewers and end up getting more screen time as a result, but the character's fish-out-of-water status also got old after a while. As a result, the spinoff's later seasons pulled their focus away from Sheldon's struggle to fit in and toward his family's storylines. Season 7 doubled down on this. In Young Sheldon Session 7, Episode 2, A Roulette Wheel and a Piano Playing Dog, Sheldon was dismayed to learn that he was the slowest learner in his new class. This was an unfamiliar experience that humbled him, eventually resulting in Sheldon getting tutoring lessons from a classmate to catch up. Already, Young Sheldon Season 7 reversed its original premise by making Mary a fish out of water in Sheldon's world of academia, but this subplot took the idea even further by stripping Sheldon of his prodigy status. As his professor noted, he is not special among a class of geniuses. The show's title character spent a long stretch of the episode struggling with this idea, and Sheldon even considered moving home instead of taking tutoring lessons. This wouldn't come as a surprise to the Big Bang Theory viewers since Sheldon was often surprisingly quick to collapse under pressure in that earlier show. Although it is easy to forget since he was so stubborn, Sheldon was extremely sensitive about his perceived professional and academic shortcomings. Young Sheldon brought back this character detail when he dug in his heels and refused any help. This attitude also mirrored a supporting character's storyline. In Young Sheldon Season 7 Episode 1, Meemoth started a fight with Dale when he mocked her for not getting tornado insurance. While Dale's comments were insensitive, Meemaw later admitted that she reacted so strongly because she felt embarrassed by the oversight. It is easy to see where Sheldon got his pride as Sheldon's reaction to the offer of tutoring echoed Meemaw's anger over Dale mocking her. The similarity between these subplots allowed young Sheldon to bring its focus back to the show's protagonist after the season 6 finale and the season 7 premiere mostly ignored him. Furthermore, Sheldon's trip to Germany proved that Sheldon struggled with acclimating to the world outside Texas despite talking a big game about wanting to conquer academia. Sheldon spent much of the spinoff's earlier seasons complaining that he was wasted in Texas and implying that young Sheldon's cast of characters didn't know just how exceptional he was. However, in The Roulette Wheel and a Piano Playing Dog, Sheldon was quick to ask his mother if they could return to his hometown early since he doesn't like being challenged. The Big Bang Theory explored Sheldon's vulnerability in similar storylines. In The Big Bang Theory Season 1, Episode 13, The Bat Jar Conjecture, and Season 7, Episode 6, The Romance Resonance, Sheldon made major blunders and found it almost impossible to recover from these mistakes. This seems surprising since young Sheldon saw him finally acquiesce to his tutor and actually listen instead of obstinately insisting he knew better. However, instead of being humbled by the experience, this one-off learning moment instead convinced Sheldon that he was already a sufficiently humble genius. This justified his persistent inability to take instruction in the Big Bang Theory since Sheldon thought he already humbled himself in young Sheldon. 4. Sheldon's Academic Ambitions From a young age, Sheldon's intellect and passion for science were evident, laying the groundwork for his future achievements in academia. In Young Sheldon Season 7, this aspect of his character is explored in greater detail as he navigates the challenges of school and pursues his academic interests. Whether it's his relentless pursuit of knowledge or his unwavering commitment to his studies, Sheldon's academic ambitions serve as a constant driving force, mirroring his trajectory in the Big Bang Theory. 
5. Navigating Social Norms Throughout the Big Bang Theory, Sheldon's struggles with social norms and cues provided ample comedic fodder. In Young Sheldon Season 7, these moments of social awkwardness are revisited with a nostalgic charm, showcasing Sheldon's gradual assimilation into the world around him. From his awkward encounters with classmates to his earnest attempts at fitting in, viewers are reminded of the endearing innocence that defines Sheldon's character and sets him apart from his peers. Young Sheldon Season 7 masterfully incorporates key elements of Sheldon's character from the Big Bang Theory, offering fans a nostalgic journey through his formative years. By exploring his quirks, relationships, and academic pursuits, the show provides a deeper understanding of Sheldon's evolution from a precocious child to a brilliant yet eccentric adult. As viewers continue to follow his journey, they are reminded of the timeless charm and enduring legacy of one of television's most iconic characters. George and Mary surprisingly thrive in their current setup as they find an unconventional way to connect in a young Sheldon Season 7, Episode 3 clip. George and Mary reconnect through letters, setting up a heartbreaking Season 7 storyline on young Sheldon. George's impending death adds a layer of tragedy to the Cooper family dynamic. Young Sheldon Season 7 explores the complexities of George and Mary's relationship amid their physical separation. A Young Sheldon Season 7, Episode 3 clip reveals an unconventional connection between Mary and George. With Sheldon's summer abroad in Germany still ongoing, the Cooper family remained split three weeks into the show's final year. While communicating wasn't as convenient in the early 90s, phones were readily available as a means for the family to stay in touch. That being said, it seems the Cooper parents have decided on a different way to keep in touch, and it's quite effective. TV Line has shared a clip from Young Sheldon Season 7, Episode 3, A Strudel and a Hot American Boy Toy, showing Mary and George communicating through letters. Watch the clip below. In the video, George excitedly reads Mary's letter as they reminisce on their last long-distance setup during the Vietnam War. Mary talks about her struggles with Sheldon in Germany, while George tells her how Meemaw has been coping with losing her house in the Young Sheldon Season 6 finale. George and Mary's marriage has been a large part of young Sheldon's run. Like normal couples, they have their ups and downs, with the prequel proving that stories about their life were at best incomplete, and at worst, inaccurate in the Big Bang Theory. The past few years have particularly been a roller coaster for the pair, as they dealt with everything from financial struggles to both having potential affairs. Given this, it's great to see them make the most out of their current physical separation in young Sheldon Season 7. Unfortunately, with George's inevitable death coming, their reconciliation sets up a worse tragedy for the pair. It's uncertain when Mary and Sheldon will come back home from Germany, but young Sheldon's time with the complete family is already limited as it I. The clip depicted a touching moment between Sheldon, the precocious child prodigy, and his father George Sr. in the scene, Sheldon was grappling with a difficult math problem, frustrated and on the verge of tears. Sensing his son's distress, George Sr. put aside his own concerns and knelt down beside him, offering words of encouragement and support. As Mary watched the tender interaction between father and son, she couldn't help but be reminded of her own relationship with her husband, George. While they may not always see eye to eye, there was an undeniable bond between them, forged through years of love, laughter, and shared experiences. Meanwhile, in the garage, George had finished his project for the day and decided to take a break. He wiped his hands on a rag and made his way back into the house, drawn by the sound of laughter emanating from the living room. As he entered, he found Mary sitting on the couch, completely engrossed in the television. Curious, he settled in beside her, his interest piqued by whatever had captured her attention. Together, they watched as the scene continued to unfold, both silently captivated by the heartwarming exchange between father and son. As the clip came to an end, Mary turned to George, a soft smile playing at the corners of her lips. You know, she began, that reminded me of the time you helped Billy with his science project. George raised an eyebrow in surprise, not expecting the comparison. Really? I don't remember that. Mary nodded, her eyes twinkling with fond memories. It was years ago, but I'll never forget how patient and kind you were with him. 
just like George Sr. with Sheldon. George felt a swell of pride in his chest at her words, grateful for the reminder of the connection they shared not only as husband and wife, but as parents too. In that moment, they both realized that despite life's challenges and uncertainties, they had each other. And just like George Sr. and Sheldon, they would always be there to support and uplift one another, no matter what the future held. As the credits rolled on the television screen, Mary leaned into George, resting her head against his shoulder. Together, they sat in comfortable silence, content in the knowledge that their unconventional connection was stronger than ever before. In the quiet of their living room, surrounded by the echoes of laughter and love, Mary and George found solace in the simple joy of being together. And as they looked towards the future, they knew that no matter what challenges lay ahead, they would face them as a team, united in love and unwavering support. And so, in this small moment of connection inspired by a television show, Mary and George rediscovered the power of love, reminding themselves that sometimes, the most unconventional bonds are the ones that hold us together the strongest. Young Sheldon Season 7 Episode May 2nd have already explained why Georgie and Mandy broke up through a subtle nod to the Big Bang Theory's canon. Georgie and Mandy's relationship in Young Sheldon Season 7 hints at a grim separation hinted in the Big Bang Theory. Georgie's success in Dr. Tire Stores may have come from Mandy's father's advice, setting up a potential betrayal. While young Sheldon has not explained why Mandy and Georgie eventually broke up, the Big Bang Theory's prequel may have hinted at a dark future storyline shared by the pair. Young Sheldon Season 7 has a hard time with Georgie and Mandy's relationship. The couple is engaged and raising a child together in the final season of the series and will reportedly receive a spin-off series focused on their married life after Yoon. It is oddly bleak to see a typical sitcom couple muddling through parenthood, cohabitation, and wedding planning when viewers already know that their story ends in separation. However, young Sheldon may have finally justified this mysterious event. In Season 7, Episode 2, A Roulette Wheel and a Piano Playing Dog, young Sheldon may have explained why Georgie and Mandy broke up. Interestingly, this potential justification for their separation is not one that many viewers would have guessed. Georgie and Mandy got engaged in young Sheldon's Season 6 finale, but it was only in this episode that Mandy's father Jim returned for an awkward family dinner with the Cooper clan. Jim talked about how he runs his garage as Georgie listened and thanked him for his wisdom, a line that could foreshadow Georgie eventually running his father-in-law out of business. In the Big Bang Theory, Georgie runs a successful chain of auto mechanics called Dr. Tire Stores. Despite his personal struggles, Georgie is portrayed as a very affluent businessman whose franchise has taken off in a big way. Not only did Jim talk about the practicalities of running an auto mechanic with Georgie, but Mandy's father specifically gave young Sheldon's Georgie advice on how to sell tires. Georgie promised that he would hold on to these tidbits, so it would not be unreasonable to presume that Georgie used this and similar advice from Jim to set up his first Dr. Tire store. Georgie warned Mima in Young Sheldon Season 7 that he wanted a more reliable income source than his grandmother's gambling room. As such, he may use the proceedings from the gambling room to set up a garage that could compete with, and eventually outdo, Mandy's family business. This would explain why Mandy and Georgie broke up, how Georgie became such a successful businessman, and how he got out of Meemaw's gambling business in one fell swoop. However, the twist can't happen yet, since young Sheldon's Georgie and Mandy can't break up before the Big Bang Theory's second spinoff begins. Title, The Shadow of Georgie, Unveiling Secrets As the opening credits roll, we see familiar scenes of East Texas, with a youthful Sheldon Cooper meticulously arranging his science fair project. The camera zooms in on his focused expression, capturing the intensity of his passion for science. However, the peaceful ambience is shattered by the sound of a distant siren, foreshadowing the darkness to come. The episode begins with Sheldon and his family enjoying a quiet evening at home. Missy is engrossed in her latest teenage drama, while George Sr. tinkers with his lawnmower in the garage. Sheldon, ever the intellectual, is absorbed in a book on quantum physics. Suddenly, a loud knock interrupts the tranquil evening. Opening the door reveals none other than Georgie, Sheldon's older brother, looking unusually distressed. 
His usual swagger is replaced by a haunted expression, leaving Sheldon and the rest of the family concerned. Georgie hesitantly admits that he's been having strange dreams lately, dreams that feel more like memories. The storyline takes a darker turn as Georgie begins to unravel the details of his dreams. He describes vivid scenes of a mysterious laboratory where he's surrounded by complex machinery and equations he doesn't understand. Sheldon, ever the curious mind, is intrigued by the scientific elements of Georgie's dreams and suggests they investigate further. Together, Sheldon and Georgie embark on a quest to uncover the truth behind Georgie's dreams. Their journey leads them to unexpected places, including the local library and even Dr. Sturgis's old office. Along the way, they encounter cryptic clues that hint at a connection. The revelation sends shockwaves through the Cooper household as the true extent of Dr. Sturgis's involvement in Georgie's dreams becomes clear. It's revealed that Dr. Sturgis, in his quest for scientific advancement, conducted illegal experiments on young children, including Georgie, in an attempt to unlock the secrets of the universe. As the episode draws to a close, Sheldon and Georgie grapple with the implications of their discovery, while Mary and George Sr. struggle to come to terms with the betrayal of their trusted friend. The dark twist leaves the audience reeling, setting the stage for a season filled with intrigue, suspense, and family drama. Newly released information about an upcoming Young Sheldon Season 7 episode may suggest that George's cheating scandal may still happen. George's cheating scandal may finally be addressed in Young Sheldon Season 7, stirring up long-standing theories. Billy Sparks' return could lead to a storyline involving his mother and George, potentially bringing closure to past tense. CBS faces challenges in addressing the cheating scandal, with limited time in the final season and the potential impact on George's character. Young Sheldon Season 7's new episode information potentially teases that George's cheating scandal may still happen on screen. Sheldon's infamous story about catching his dad in bed with another woman in the Big Bang Theory has haunted the prequel throughout its run. After it was skipped in Young Sheldon Season 6, there were theories that CBS decided not to tackle the storyline. However, the show may have just delayed the incident to its final season. Per CBS, via Futon Critic, Young Sheldon Season 7, Episode May 4th actually tackled George's infidelity plot. The arc has been set up for years, with the Cooper patriarch developing a borderline inappropriate relationship with Brenda Sparks. However, nothing has really come out of it. The said outing's title, however, coupled with the confirmation that Sheldon and Mary would be back in Texas effectively revives the conversation about George's affair. Read the official episode description below. Previously, it has been confirmed that Young Sheldon Season 7 will feature the return of Billy Sparks. The Cooper's neighbor has been mostly used sporadically in the prequel, despite the Big Bang Theory setting him up for a much bigger role. While there hasn't been any indication that his mother will also show up, it would be fairly easy to reincorporate Brenda into Young Sheldon Season 7 storytelling, considering that she lives nearby. From there, Young Sheldon can culminate their story as potential lovers. That's assuming that she is actually the woman that Sheldon caught his dad in bed with. Beyond that, however, there's a whole host of challenges that CBS would face if they decide to address the infamous incident. For starters, Young Sheldon is already ending on a shortened final season. This means that there is limited time to set up a satisfying send-off for the Coopers. George is confirmed to die before the series ends, and destroying his character before his inevitable death would further decrease the remaining time that the show has with the complete family. The cheating scandal would also infinitely make tackling his death more difficult. At this point, it's probably best for the family comedy slash drama to simply ignore Sheldon's cheating story. Despite CBS and the writers insisting that the prequel still exists in the same universe, there are just far too many plot inconsistencies between the spinoff. As tensions mount within the Cooper household, Sheldon seeks solace in the companionship of his friends, who offer him both support and sage advice. Meanwhile, Missy, Sheldon's twin sister, finds herself wrestling with her own emotions as she grapples with the idea of her father's potential betrayal. 
As the episode reaches its climax, Sheldon is faced with a pivotal decision that will not only test his principles, but also redefine his relationship with his family forever. With the weight of the truth bearing down upon him, Sheldon must summon the courage to confront his father and demand answers, regardless of the consequences. In a heart-wrenching confrontation, Sheldon confronts George with his suspicions, leading to a moment of truth that will leave viewers on the edge of their seats. George's response, whether it be denial or admission, will have far-reaching implications for the Cooper family and their future together. Ultimately, the quandary of conscience serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities of human relationships and the importance of honesty and integrity in the face of adversity. As Sheldon and his family navigate through this challenging ordeal, they are forced to confront their own vulnerabilities and emerge stronger and more resilient than ever before. With stellar performances from the cast and a gripping storyline that keeps audiences guessing until the very end, this episode of Young Sheldon is sure to leave a lasting impression and spark conversations long after the credits roll. So buckle up and prepare for an emotional roller coaster ride that will tug at your heartstrings and leave you eagerly anticipating what lies ahead for the Cooper family in future episodes. Sheldon's academic struggles in Young Sheldon Season 7, Episode 2 shine a light on the harsh truth about his friendships in the Big Bang Theory. Sheldon struggles academically in Germany, revealing the real motivation behind his friendships in the Big Bang Theory. Sheldon's friends helped him hide his insecurities about not attending an Ivy League university like them. Despite being the smartest, Sheldon couldn't have succeeded in the Big Bang Theory without the support of his Pasadena gang. Sheldon is going through some academic hardships in Germany, and the experience in Young Sheldon Season 7 somehow reveals the truth about the nature of his The Big Bang Theory friendships. In the vein of Friends and Seinfeld, co-creators Chuck Lorre and Bill Prady launched a sitcom that focused on the dynamic within a friend group with a twist. Most of the Pasadena gang members were deemed genius social outcasts who were into nerdy things. Not only did this separate itself from its predecessors, but it also made the most out of the rising geek culture of the late 2000s. Despite its prequel nature, young Sheldon has been able to reference Sheldon and his life in the Big Bang Theory thanks to Jim Parsons' narration. The spin-offs events are told by the adult version of the character, allowing the series to bring in Amy and Howard. The Young Sheldon Season 2 finale also paid tribute to its parent series by debuting the young versions of the Pasadena Gang. Young Sheldon Season 7, Episode 2, A Roulette Wheel and a Piano Playing Dog, has a less-than-ideal revelation about Sheldon and his friends, particularly the real motivation behind his relationship with them. Since Season 7 picked up not long after the events of the Young Sheldon Season 6 finale, Sheldon and Mary remain in Germany for the former study abroad program. While the Big Bang Theory had previously established his time in the country, the specifics of Sheldon's current trip are different from what he revealed in the nerd-centric sitcom. J. This means that as much as Leonard and the boys decided to stick around Sheldon after he saved them, Sheldon also chose to continue being friends with them. Otherwise, their friendship wouldn't have lasted that long. Fast-tracking his time in high school in Young Sheldon Season 3, Sheldon was being recruited to multiple Ivy League institutions, considering the level of his intellect. Being in Texas made him stand out, and that news reached those organizations. From the get-go, Mary was against the idea of sending her favorite kid out of state, so as a compromise, they decided to send Sheldon to a much nearer East Texas Tech for college. The revelation was a surprise, considering how much he made fun of his friends' undergraduate schools, such as Princeton and MIT. Because of Sheldon's genius and his arrogance, nobody questioned his undergraduate credentials within the Pasadena gang. However, being a member of a friend group that was composed of scientists from notable academic institutions helped him get away with not revealing that he actually went to East Texas Tech for college and not some Ivy League university. It didn't even come up when he won the Nobel Prize in Physics at the end of the Big Bang Theory. Regardless of where Sheldon went for college, the Big Bang Theory repeatedly made it clear that he was the smartest member of the Pasadena gang. That being said, he arguably couldn't have achieved everything he had in the show without the help of his friends, even Penny, who was the least educated but most practical out of the bunch. Despite Sheldon's flaws, the group loved and supported him unconditionally. They were patient, 
caring, and even protective of him. If he didn't have such a strong support system after leaving Texas and young Sheldon, it's arguably unlikely that he would have been as successful. In its seventh season, young Sheldon delves deep into the intricacies of Sheldon Cooper's friendships from the Big Bang Theory, revealing the harsh truths behind the facade of camaraderie. As viewers follow young Sheldon's journey through adolescence, they uncover the complexities of his relationships with Leonard, Howard, Raj, and Penny, shedding light on the dynamics that shaped their bond in adulthood. The season opens with Sheldon navigating the challenges of high school, where he struggles to find his place among his peers. Despite his genius intellect, Sheldon's social ineptitude isolates him, mirroring the alienation he would later experience in his adult life. Through flashbacks, viewers witness pivotal moments that foreshadow the strained dynamics within his group of friends. One of the central themes explored throughout the season is the power dynamic between Sheldon and Leonard. While the Big Bang Theory often portrayed their friendship as mutually beneficial, young Sheldon unveils the underlying resentment and dependence that fueled their bond. As Sheldon grapples with feelings of inferiority and insecurity, Leonard grapples with his role as both a friend and a caretaker, leading to tension and conflict. Similarly, the season delves into Sheldon's relationships with Howard and Raj, revealing the underlying insecurities and competitiveness that lurk beneath the surface. In contrast to the lighthearted banter of their adult counterparts, the young versions of Howard and Raj navigate a minefield of jealousy and envy, vying for Sheldon's approval and validation. Penny's role in Sheldon's life is also explored in depth, offering insight into the complexities of their friendship. While Penny served as a grounding force for Sheldon in the Big Bang Theory, in a climactic episode, Sheldon's friends confront him about his dismissive and condescending behavior, forcing him to confront the harsh truths about himself and his relationships. As he grapples with the consequences of his actions, he begins to unravel the layers of emotional complexity that have long defined his friendships, leading to moments of introspection and reconciliation. Ultimately, Young Sheldon Season 7 offers a nuanced exploration of the harsh realities behind Sheldon's friendships in The Big Bang Theory, challenging viewers to reconsider their perceptions of the beloved characters. By delving into the complexities of adolescence and friendship, the season invites audiences to reflect on the nature of companionship and the importance of empathy in navigating the challenges of life. As Sheldon embarks on a journey of self-discovery, he learns that true friendship transcends intellect and ego, ultimately finding solace in the bonds that unite him with his friends. Young Sheldon's Season 7 episode May 2nd have already revealed why Mima acts so different in The Big Bang Theory, and it's a tragic justification. Young Sheldon Season 7 hints at Mima's downfall, foreshadowing a major character shift in The Big Bang Theory. Meemaw's reckless actions in the gambling room could lead to legal troubles, explaining her more serious demeanor in TBBT. The show implies that losing her business and facing consequences might turn young Sheldon's carefree Meemaw into a sadiq figure. While young Sheldon season 7 hasn't revealed the source of Meemaw's changed persona in the Big Bang Theory yet, the spinoff has hinted at one dark cause for this character shift. Although Young Sheldon is the Big Bang Theory's prequel, the show's depiction of events doesn't always align with the canon of its predecessor. Sheldon's mother Mary and Sheldon himself both wrote his late father off as a shiftless, thoughtless philandering drunk in the original series, but Young Sheldon has since revealed that George Sr. was a surprisingly kind and agreeable everyman. Similarly, Meemaw's character is completely different in the two shows. In The Big Bang Theory, Sheldon's grandmother, Mima, is a lot like his mother, Mary. A traditional, stern matriarch, she can be as humorless and stubborn as Mary or Sheldon himself. However, in Young Sheldon, Mima is portrayed as a carefree, sardonic, risk-loving rebel. While Young Sheldon's season 6 finale saw her lose her house in a tornado, season 7 of the spinoff has not brought Sheldon's grandmother any closer to her eventual personality shift. If anything, her house's destruction has made her even more reckless. Unfortunately, this could foreshadow the events that will lead to Meemaw's eventual character change. It is increasingly obvious why Sheldon's grandmother is much less fun-loving and light-hearted in the Big Bang Theory since young Sheldon Season 7 is foreshadowing Meemaw's downfall. 
In Season 7, Episode 2, A Roulette Wheel and a Piano Playing Dog, her grandson Georgie noted that adding a roulette wheel to their secret gambling room would take the Enterprise from a legal gray area into a riskier, more blatantly illegal space. However, Meemaw's understandable desperation to rebuild her house lead her to ignore Georgie and take this major risk, even convincing her grandson to man the table later in the episode. While most of young Sheldon's cast of characters have attempted perilous schemes over the years, Meemaw's escalation of her illegal business is a massive risk. Meemaw has already lost her home and her insurance didn't cover tornadoes, meaning she can't afford any potential court case that could arise from the gambling room. In the quaint town of Medford, Texas, where the sunsets are golden and the stars shine brightly, there lies a tale of family, love, and the bittersweet passage of time. At the heart of this story is the indomitable Mima, the matriarch whose wisdom and strength have shaped generations. As young Sheldon enters its seventh season, viewers are taken on a journey deeper into Meemaw's past, uncovering secrets that illuminate her present and foreshadow a poignant twist that will reverberate through the Big Bang Theory. Mima, portrayed with depth and nuance by the incomparable Annie Potts, has always been a beacon of stability for young Sheldon and his family. With her quick wit and no-nonsense attitude, she navigates life's challenges with grace, but beneath her tough exterior lies a complex history waiting to be explored. Season 7 of Young Sheldon peels back the layers of Meemaw's past, revealing a tale of love lost and sacrifices made. As Sheldon delves deeper into his family's history, he uncovers the story of Meemaw's first love, a young man named Henry. Their romance blossomed amidst the Texas heat, and for a time, it seemed as though nothing could tear them apart. But fate had other plans, and Henry was called to serve his country in the Korean War. The separation took its toll on Mima, who waited faithfully for his return, clinging to the hope that their love would endure. However, tragedy struck when news arrived that Henry had been killed in action, leaving Mima heartbroken and adrift. The loss hardened her resolve, shaping her into the strong, independent woman she is today. But beneath the tough exterior lies a lingering sadness, a wound that never fully healed. As Sheldon uncovers the truth about Meemaw's past, he begins to understand the depths of her resilience and the sacrifices she made for her family. But the revelation also sheds light on a subtle change in Meemaw's demeanor, one that fans of the Big Bang Theory may have noticed. Throughout the beloved sitcom, Mima is portrayed as a vibrant and spirited character, but there is a subtle shift in her personality as the series progresses. Gone is the fiery spark of her youth, replaced by a quieter, more subdued demeanor. While still fiercely protective of her family, there is a sense of melancholy that lingers beneath the surface. The twist in Young Sheldon Season 7 sets the stage for a poignant explanation of Mima's transformation in the Big Bang Theory. The loss of Henry, her first love, left a scar on Meemaw's heart that never fully healed. Though she found happiness and fulfillment in her family, there was always a part of her that yearned for what could have been. As viewers revisit episodes of The Big Bang Theory with this newfound understanding, Meemaw's actions and motivations take on a deeper significance. Her unwavering support for Sheldon and his friends is not just the result of familial love, but also a reflection of her own longing for connection and belonging. The sad twist of Young Sheldon Season 7 serves as a poignant reminder of the impact of loss and the resilience of the human spirit. Meemaw's story is a testament to the power of love to endure even in the face of adversity, and her journey is a reminder that every scar tells a story. As the sun sets over Medford, Texas, and the stars twinkle in the night sky, Meemaw's legacy lives on, a beacon of strength and resilience for generations to come. And though her story may be tinged with sadness, it is also a testament to the enduring power of love to transcend time and space. Missy gets revenge against Sheldon for tattling about her sneaking out and drinking at night in a new Young Sheldon Season 7, Episode 3 clip. Z the New Young Sheldon Season 7, Episode 3 clip from CBS, via TV promos slash YouTube, reveals Missy getting her revenge against Sheldon when her twin finds himself lost in Germany. Watch the video below. In the Young Sheldon Season 7 clip, Sheldon goes on a train expedition in and around Germany without Mary's supervision. 
Things are working well for the boy genius, but when his train leaves him at a random station, he has no choice but to call home and ask Missy for help. Unfortunately, his sister is in no helping mood as she hangs up on Sheldon. Sheldon and Missy's fight has been going on since the young Sheldon season 6 finale when he tattled about his sister sneaking out to drink and smoke with Pastor Jeff's niece. Despite Sheldon's history of being inconsiderate, he was motivated by his concern for Missy's well-being, which pushed him to reveal her secrets. The boy genius tried smoothing things out with her before he and Mary left for Germany, but Missy was far too mad to even engage in a conversation with him. It's unclear how much time has passed since their rift, but despite Missy's heartbreaking promise to George that she will make amends for her transgressions in the past, it doesn't seem like that includes forgiving Sheldon. That's surprising, considering that young Sheldon only has a handful of episodes left, and it's unlikely that CBS would want to leave the pair's relationship fractured before the show wraps up. Chances are that when Sheldon returns to Texas, Missy will be forced to make peace with him, especially if he's going to be earnest in winning his sister's trust back. In any case, the Big Bang Theory canon mandates that Sheldon and Missy eventually patch things up. When Missy debuted in the nerd-centric sitcom, the twins seemed to have a good relationship. In fact, it was Sheldon who was being rude and disrespectful to his twin. Hopefully, however, young Sheldon Season 7 has enough time to show how they're able to rebuild that somehow harmonious relationship. In the small town of Medford, Texas, where the eccentric Cooper family resides, life is never dull, especially with the brilliant yet socially awkward young Sheldon Cooper at its center. Season 7 of Young Sheldon continues to captivate audiences with its unique blend of humor, intellect, and heartwarming moments. In Episode 3, Titled Missy's Revenge, tensions between Sheldon and his twin sister, Missy, reach new heights as Missy devises a cunning plan to teach Sheldon a lesson he won't soon forget. As the episode opens, we find Sheldon engrossed in his latest scientific experiment in the Cooper family garage-turned-laboratory. Dressed in his signature bow tie and lab coat, Sheldon meticulously adjusts the components of his makeshift particle accelerator, oblivious to the world around him. Meanwhile, Missy lurks nearby, a mischievous glint in her eye. Hey, Sheldon, Missy calls out innocently, sauntering into the garage. What are you working on this time? Sheldon barely acknowledges her presence, his focus unbroken. I'm conducting a groundbreaking experiment to prove the existence of parallel universes, he declares proudly. Missy stifles a giggle as she surveys the cluttered workspace. Looks like a fancy toaster to me, she quips, earning an indignant glare from Sheldon. Ignoring his sister's remark, Sheldon adjusts the final settings on his device and prepares to initiate the experiment. But before he can press the activation button, Missy swiftly intervenes, swiping the control panel from his grasp. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Sheldon protests, reaching for the control panel in vain. When the dust settles, Sheldon and Missy find themselves standing in the midst of a bizarre alternate reality. The familiar surroundings of their hometown have been replaced by a surreal landscape of twisted buildings and alien flora. What have you done, Missy? Sheldon demands, his voice tinged with panic. Missy's eyes widen in realization as she surveys their surroundings. I think I may have underestimated the consequences of my actions, she admits sheepishly. As Sheldon and Missy navigate this strange new world, they encounter a cast of eccentric characters unlike any they've ever known. From a sentient robot to a talking cat, each inhabitant of this alternate reality offers clues to unraveling the mystery of their predicament. With Missy's quick thinking and Sheldon's scientific prowess, the siblings embark on a daring quest to find a way back to their own reality. Along the way, they learn valuable lessons about the importance of cooperation, empathy, and the bonds of family. As the episode draws to a close, Sheldon and Missy finally succeed in restoring their reality to its rightful state thanks to a clever application of theoretical physics. With their adventure behind them, the siblings share a rare moment of mutual appreciation, acknowledging each other's unique strengths and quirks. As the credits roll, viewers are left eagerly anticipating the next installment of Young Sheldon, wondering what new adventures await the brilliant yet eccentric Cooper family. 
and though Sheldon and Missy may always be at odds, their bond as siblings remains unbreakable, proving that even the most unlikely allies can overcome any challenge when they work together. End of Creativity Georgie's Dilemma in Young Sheldon Season 7, Episode 2 explains the major change in the character when he finally appeared in The Big Bang Theory. Georgie's Dilemma in Young Sheldon Season 7 sheds light on his past rift with Sheldon, shaping their future relationship. Young Sheldon fleshes out Cooper family members, highlighting their complexities beyond just being comic relief. Georgie's dedication to Mandy and Cece is evident, hinting at future hardships he may face, as hinted in the Big Bang Theory. Georgie's dilemma in Young Sheldon Season 7 explains his major change in the Big Bang Theory. Sheldon's brother was the last Cooper family member to make a physical appearance in the nerd-centric sitcom, although he had been regularly referenced prior. The Big Bang Theory introduced Georgie in Season 11, just before Sheldon's wedding to Amy. Explaining why Georgie had never visited Pasadena, it was revealed that the brothers had a falling out and had not been on speaking terms for a decade. If it wasn't for Mary's ultimatum, they wouldn't have patched things up. Regardless of when they debuted in the Big Bang Theory, all members of the Cooper family were somehow worse in the main show. Perhaps it's partly because young Sheldon is able to fully flesh them out, which makes them more than just a comedic source or plot device. The discrepancy in George's depiction has been discussed extensively over the years, but the differences in George's iterations have been barely explored. Luckily, it seems like young Sheldon is starting to lay the foundation for its explanation ahead of George's upcoming spin-off series with Mandy. In Young Sheldon Season 7, Episode 2, A Roulette Wheel and a Piano Playing Dog, Georgie gets stressed over Meemaw's reckless decision to expand her illegal gambling den. Motivated by wanting to increase their profits so she can rebuild her house, she brings in a roulette wheel, which concerns Georgie, since it's blatantly illegal. The margins are good, however, making it more difficult for him to decide. While he wants the money to provide for Mandy and Cece, the thought of going to jail and leaving them terrifies him, as it should. Georgie's dilemma highlights just how important his growing family is and how dedicated he is to giving them a comfortable life. Unfortunately, the Big Bang Theory canon mandates that he will eventually be separated from them after he and Mandy split up. Regardless of the reason for their separation, it's safe to say that it would be devastating for Georgie, effectively sending him down the path of several more failed relationships. As revealed by Sheldon, both in Young Sheldon and in the original show, his brother is married a few more times. Title, The Evolution of Georgie, Exploring His Dilemma in Young Sheldon Season 7 and Its Impact on His Character in the Big Bang Theory. As Young Sheldon enters its seventh season, fans are drawn deeper into the intricacies of the Cooper family dynamics, particularly focusing on the character development of Georgie Cooper. Played by Montana Jordan, Georgie's journey from a brash teenager to a more nuanced adult parallels the evolution of his older self portrayed in The Big Bang Theory. This essay delves into the pivotal moments of Georgie's dilemma in Young Sheldon Season 7 and how they shed light on his major character change in The Big Bang Theory. Georgie's journey is one of growth and self-discovery, filled with challenges and moments of introspection that ultimately shape his personality. Throughout Young Sheldon Season 7, Georgie finds himself at a crossroads, torn between his desire for independence and the responsibilities that come with adulthood. As he navigates through various trials and tribulations, Missy's new role in Young Sheldon Season 7 makes Mary's behavior and overall perspective towards her in the Big Bang Theory much more repulsive. Missy's role in Young Sheldon exposes Mary's true colors, showing her favoritism towards Sheldon. Missy steps up in the Cooper household only to feel underappreciated in her new responsibilities. Mary never fully appreciated Missy, prioritizing appearances over her daughter's happiness. Missy's new role in Young Sheldon Season 7 shows just how repulsive Mary in the Big Bang Theory was. Sheldon's mother and sister were the first members of the Cooper family to visit Pasadena. While Missy took another decade to return, Mary regularly stopped by to check out her son. They only shared the screen once, in the lead-up to Sheldon and Amy's wedding in the Big Bang Theory Season 11, which also marked the debut of the adult version of Georgie. 
Despite this, the nerd-centric sitcom made it clear that Mary and Missy didn't have the best dynamic. There was no doubt that Mary was a devoted mother to Sheldon, but she wasn't exactly great when dealing with everyone else. Motivated by her religious beliefs, the Cooper matriarch was convinced it was okay to be judgmental and prejudiced towards other people who didn't have the same principles, including his son's closest friends. Mary's ruthlessness extended to the rest of the family, backing up Sheldon's story about his dad being a no-good family man, something that young Sheldon disputes, while also talking bad about her other kids, but she was particularly hard on Missy. On the heels of the young Sheldon season 6 finale, the Coopers deal with the aftermath of the tornado, with Missy stepping up to spearhead their new living conditions. Mary and George's only daughter takes on increased responsibility to make sure that the household runs properly. In the premiere, Missy seemed eager, almost pleased with her new role in the family, which makes sense, considering that she has been mostly cast aside in the past. In Young Sheldon Season 7, Episode 2, A Roulette Wheel and a Piano Playing Dog, however, she realizes that it's a thankless job. Subsequently, Missy confesses her feelings of being underappreciated back at home. As an adolescent, the burden of her responsibilities shouldn't be on her. She took over what was supposed to be Mary's job in the Cooper matriarch's absence without anyone asking her to step up. Georgie explains that he needs to grow up and provide for his growing family, but Missy is forced to do the mental and physical labor of keeping their home running even though it isn't hers to begin with. This makes her situation in young Sheldon season 7 much worse than her brother's. Somehow, Mary never appreciated Missy and young Sheldon. Granted that the pair has always had a complicated dynamic, primarily because the matriarch tends to take Sheldon's side and cast her other kids aside. However, it's one thing to favor a kid over the other, but it's another to prioritize keeping up appearances over a child's happiness. Amid Missy's separation from her first husband, Mary insisted that they were still together, downplaying her daughter's desire to split from her husband. After years of being neglected, the least Mary could have done at that point was offer Missy support instead of antagonizing her. Title, The Evolution of Missy, Revealing the Repulsive Nature of TBBT's Mary in Young Sheldon Season 7. In the quaint town of Medford, Texas, where the sun sets on dusty roads and secrets linger in the air, the Cooper family saga continues to unravel in the seventh season of Young Sheldon. While the spotlight often shines on the titular character, from the very beginning, Missy Cooper emerges as a breath of fresh air in the Cooper household, contrasting sharply with her prodigious brother, Sheldon. While Sheldon's intellect often isolates him from his peers, Missy's outgoing nature and innate empathy draw people toward her effortlessly. However, beneath her bubbly exterior lies a young girl struggling to find her place in a family where her mother's expectations loom large. As young Sheldon delves deeper into Missy's character arc, viewers are confronted with the harsh realities of Mary Cooper's parenting style. Unlike her father, George Sr., whose easygoing demeanor provides a semblance of balance in the household, Mary's rigid adherence to religious principles and traditional values stifles her children's individuality. Missy, in particular, bears the brunt of Mary's expectations, forced to conform to societal norms that often clash with her own desires and aspirations. Throughout the series, Missy's journey serves as a poignant reminder of the damaging effects of parental favoritism and emotional neglect. While Sheldon basks in the glow of his mother's adoration, Missy yearns for even a fraction of the attention lavished upon her brother. Her attempts to gain Mary's approval are met with indifference or outright dismissal, leaving her feeling unseen and unloved. Despite the challenges she faces at home, Missy's resilience shines through in her relationships outside the family. Whether it's her budding friendship with Paige or her romantic entanglements with boys at school, Missy navigates the turbulent waters of adolescence with grace and determination. It is in these moments of vulnerability that we see glimpses of the woman she is destined to become, strong, independent, and unapologetically herself. As young Sheldon peels back the layers of Missy's character, the audience is forced to confront the uncomfortable truth about Mary Cooper's shortcomings as a mother. Her inability to connect with her daughter on a deeper level, coupled with her staunch refusal to acknowledge Missy's individuality, paints a disturbing portrait of maternal neglect. 
Mary's blind adherence to religious doctrine and her narrow-minded views on gender roles further exacerbate the rift between mother and daughter, perpetuating a cycle of emotional abuse and psychological trauma. In one particularly poignant episode, Missy's decision to defy her mother's wishes and audition for the school play serves as a catalyst for change in their relationship. As Mary grapples with her own insecurities and fears, she is forced to confront the harsh reality of her daughter's suffering, a reality she can no longer ignore. In a rare moment of vulnerability, Mary reaches out to Missy, offering her love and support in a way she never has before. It is a turning point in their relationship, one that offers hope for healing and reconciliation. As the seventh season of Young Sheldon draws to a close, Missy's journey comes full circle, culminating in a powerful realization about the true nature of love and acceptance. In a heart-wrenching confrontation with her mother, Missy confronts Mary about the years of emotional neglect and abuse she has endured. It is a cathartic moment of truth, one that forces Mary to confront her own demons and take responsibility for her actions. In the end, Missy emerges stronger and more resilient than ever, determined to forge her own path in life regardless of the obstacles that lie ahead. Through her journey, we are reminded that it is never too late to break free from the chains of the past and embrace the limitless possibilities of the future. And as we bid farewell to the Cooper family once again,